Welcome to to our readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of July 24th to the 30th, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. This week I'm using Wheel of the Year by Los Arbeto. So Aries, I have already been praying over your cards. Love, wealth, happiness for the week. July 24th. 24th, July 24th to the 30th for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So, Aries, I am doing things a little bit differently this week, um, just because I don't really, I just do not have time to pull all these cards that I would usually pull um, for the weeklies. It just takes too long. And I'm getting, I was getting kind of bored with it anyway. Um, so I really, I hope you guys like this spread. Um, okay, the Nine of Wands. And if the reading doesn't resonate with you, definitely look at your moon, your rising signs. The Chariot. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info is always below all of the videos. Two of Cups. Um, if you decide to book through the website, don't worry about that calendar. The Page of Pentacles. I'm doing away with that calendar. It just wasn't, that particular one was not working out. The Eight of Wands. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups, oh, the Empress, wow, this looks nice, guys. Right, the bottom two cards are going to be the overall energy, King of Cups, Three of Cups. Anything that I feel like I need to clarify, I'm going to use this Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. Nice deck. I love these little decks for clarifying. Okay, so with the King of Cups, could be your energy. Loving, caring, very highly, highly intuitive, emotional, but is always in control of his emotions. Always keeps his cool in a crisis. So a water sign person, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising could be important to, for some of you guys this week. And we have the Three of Cups. This is that celebratory energy, you know, wanting to celebrate something important with your friends, your family. Just a very happy, light energy. You know, social, getting out and about more. Now the first card we have here is the chariot or the nine of wands i'm sorry i don't know why i said the chariot that's the next card I'm focused on that chariot so you know i think you're going to receive clarity regarding something something that's been going on within your life you know something that you have been fighting and definitely very hard to change whatever it is but you're standing your ground you know you're not backing down you're definitely trying to change something now with the chariot represents a sign of cancer you know, with this fighting, you know, being defensive with the chariot, you're now taking charge. You know, you're you're definitely taking control. You know, previously, you know, nothing was probably happening at all. You know, you were all you were doing was working hard on this. You know, now you're gaining momentum, you're moving forward, you're in charge. You know, now you're deciding where you want to want that chariot to go. 
you know, not to jump around, but I'm just feeling led to with the queen of, of cups being here and the chariot, you know, I feel like if you draw you know, upon your, how do I want to say this? By drawing upon your emotions, like your, your emotional centeredness and balance, you can absolutely drive success and achieve your goals. Definitely. With the Page of Pentacles, you know, the, the definitely good news. You know, coming in for you regarding career, finances, an offer, an opportunity of some sort. But it does add a, a great deal of stability to your life. You know, and also, I know I keep going back to this chariot. It does add a lot of stability to your life with this page of pentacles. And with the chariot, you're very focused with, you know, with this, with the Chariot and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you are very focused and determined and dedicated, you know, to your learning, career, business pursuits. That that really will ultimately lead you to success. You guys are really, I feel, on, on, a, on a success streak this week. You know, with the Eight of Wands... This good news you know, brings with that opportunities and things that could happen very fast with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. You know, I do see very quick developments, things progressing rapidly. You know, whatever it is that you have been waiting on, you know, this could definitely come in quicker for you than, than you than you think. Um, I just, I feel like you, you're definitely starting down a new path. You know, with the two of cups, you could be in a relationship. Now it could be with the cancer. I do have strong cancer here, but I mean, any water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, So you could be in a relationship with this person or this could be a business partnership. This is someone that you're, you're definitely spending a lot of time with. You know, connecting on, on that emotional, deeper level. You could feel actually more in control and in charge of your relationship or partnership. You know, those of you that are single, this is definitely could be you meeting someone new. With the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands, I feel like you could definitely, if it's not you, it could be someone else. You could establish really an instant connection with someone really special. You know, and, and if it's not you, it could be the other person that is extremely eager to move you know, the relationship forward. Really. You know, the Queen of Cups. Again, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy here. Guys, no gender either. You know, private readings, absolutely, that matters for me, but not in the generals. Um, you know, so the Queen of Cups, you know, very loving, caring, highly, highly intuitive, warm-hearted, but I feel like you're just feeling very happy and abundant with everything that's happening around you. You're very much looking forward to what the future has in store for you. You know, with this empress sitting right here, 
you know, this tells me that whatever this is that's going on for you is going to be very, you know, very, very fruitful, very abundant. This communication, this exciting news, a new beginning, whatever this is that's being brought to you, it brings with it abundance, happiness, you know, for my, for my um, women Aries, if you've been trying to conceive, absolutely give it a go this week. It's exciting news. Actually, that could be with the exciting news. It could be, it could be you finding out that you're pregnant this week. You're feeling very, very happy and abundant. But what, but again, you know, working very hard to bring in this change. You've been very focused and determined. You're not giving up. And this change is definitely make you, making you feel like you're in control. You know, you're moving in the direction that you want to go in. I do feel like this is more related to finances, career, starting new projects. You, know, you definitely feel, you know, Emotionally balanced this week. There could be someone around you, you know, that's helping you to achieve this. But once things start moving, I feel like it's really going to take off for you. And you're really feeling very secure and abundant about this. Um, what do I want to do here? I want, let's look at the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Spirit for Aries. What is the Page of Wands here for Aries? July 24th to the 30th. Listen, you guys are definitely starting down a new path. Definitely. All right, some of you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. One more. Okay, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, all right. So whatever this good news is that comes in for you, you're definitely leaving behind what no lot what, what you're on a new journey. You're starting down a new path. Emotionally, you're leaving behind what no longer serves you. Ending something and starting something new. Definitely. And feeling very abundant about this. Let's look at the Empress just to be sure. The Empress. Oh wow. The star card flipped up. Listen, with the, the star card and the empress, this is just like free flowing love, abundance, beautiful, make a wish, really, definitely a wish come true for you, starting down this new path, definitely feel like celebrating with your friends, your family, you're definitely starting out on a new journey. Something exciting too, emotionally fulfilling, and really listen. If you've really been hoping, praying, and wishing to be able to get pregnant, I feel like that's gonna very strongly gonna happen for you. Others of you could be starting a, re a relationship with an Aquarius. The star card for me is also the water signs: Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You have a lot of strong water energy here guys but whatever it is it's very abundant and successful like divinely guided to you know the star card is, is is god your angels your spirit guides it's a beautiful blessed energy healing energy guiding you 
on the path that you're meant to be on. Let's get some love cards for Aries. These are the Romance Angels cards. And I do feel like this, if it is a new relationship that you're moving toward, this, whoa, I can't even make that up. I was just going to say that. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Aries. Yay. I love it. What else we got? Nice. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Or, you know, if you're married, you're definitely with your soulmate. For sure. Engagement. Your love life is, asc is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Wow. I feel like, wow, some of you could actually be renewing your vows. Others of you could be definitely this person, this new person that's coming into your life. I mean, this is total soulmate connection for me. So with this, this, yeah, you could end up marrying this person. Yay, Aries. I love it. Aries, I hope this message helped you guys out for the week. Um, if not, look at your moon, your rising signs. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed week. I will see you guys back here very shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.